right, Virgo Nation. You asked for it, you're going to get it. <laughs> Y'all want to know what is going on with the third party. For those of you that's been that are in a third party situation, you want to know what's going on with the third party, what the third party is thinking, what they're saying, what they're doing, what's happening in that situation. And we're going to take a look-see, all right? Remember, this is your very own Virgo channel here at Virgo Bright, but there is also my main channel where I also upload Virgo readings at Bright Light Tarot. So let's see. Let's get into it here. All right. What is the karmic or the third party saying, thinking, doing? All right. For those Virgos that are in a third party or were in a third party, because for some of you, maybe it's over, you know, what's going on? What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay. I don't know how to escape this hell. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is your person or if this is the third party that feels like they are in hell. They are in a bad, bad position. They put themselves in a bad position. Um, and now things are not going as planned. All right. We'll take a look at that. Let's see what else. What else? Secrets. Okay. So there's some sort of secrets here. We're going to take a look at that too. What else? What else? What else? What's going on with the third party when there is one? I don't care about the karmic. I'm only using her or him. Ooh, my goodness gracious. So we have more of your person coming out with messages rather than the actual karmic. Okay, let's get some more. We're going to clarify all of them, y'all. So don't worry. This is kind of juicy. Okay, what else? What else? What else? It says, no karmic will ever succeed in awakening me like you do, divine feminine or divine masculine, if you want to turn it around. Ooh, this is... So we have your person actually coming out real strong here as well. Um, I wish for your downfall. Now, that's definitely the karmic energy. And then here's your person again. The karmic is making me turn against you. Wow. Okay. Woo. Heavy energy, y'all. I love to play the victim at the bottom of the deck. I mean, that could be your person, but that could be this karmic too. You know? I don't know. What it, what, what deck are we going to use for this? Let's use the Game of Thrones. I think that might be apropos. <laughs> Since folks want to play games, all right? All right, let's clarify these and then we'll look at your person and this karmic or your person's actions or feelings. I don't know what. We're going to look at something, y'all. I don't know what we're going to look at. We'll look at something. I don't do these type of readings often. I don't know how to escape the hell. Why is that here? The Knight of Swords. Somebody's brain is going haywire here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius where this person is being mentally tortured, okay? There's a lot of mental energy here. The Knight of Swords. The Death energy. Wow. Why do I feel like um, even if this person ended something with the Karmic, the Karmic is still torturing them in some way? It also could be an energy of... Um, this person being stressed out about what they did to you okay what secrets are here why is that here why is secrets here there's something going on seven of swords yeah there's something not right there's some sort of deception in that connection between the karmic and your person what is the seven of swords the six of coins somebody's giving to two situations Either the karmic is or your person or both, okay? Or both. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
interesting six of cups is here somebody could be dealing with an ex in that situation somebody could be dealing with an ex i don't care about the karmic i'm only using her three of coins yeah that could be using somebody for money or status here clarify the three of coins king of swords you definitely could be dealing with the libra gemini aquarius this person is using someone maybe in a business sense maybe this person maybe the karmic owns a business or something like that it's a lot of air coming out here all right so the karmic will never succeed in awakening me like you do divine feminine let's see Okay, we have the Queen of Spears and she landed like this. So not only is she not you or he not you, this person is a bia. You know the rest of it. Okay. I didn't put the ch on the end of it, but you know what I mean. Alright, Queen of Spears. Oops, Queen of Spears. Yeah, and they get on your person's nerves. Ten of Wands. They're a burden. Your person might be a burden for them too. Okay. I wish for your downfall. That's obviously the karmic sitting here wishing for your downfall. Like get a grip, lady or man. It's not going to happen. Yeah, the knight of coins. You, Virgo. That's your energy. You're so stable though. And you know what's crazy is that with the knight of coins being so stable, whatever happened between you and your person, you picked yourself up. And you moved on. <laughs> Even maybe for some of you to something better. And this karmic is like, oh, I just, I just hope this person. They just, they're just wishing, excuse me, that you never succeed. Knight of coins. Knight of coins. I just ate and I'm just like, look at you. The queen of pentacles, Virgo. This person, they can wish all they want. Return to sender, return to sender. Because... Virgo, you sitting pretty here and you are abundant in every way. The karmic is making me turn against you. Why is that here? What is that all about? The karmic is making me turn against you. The king of spirits, you could be dealing with the Leo Sag Aries, but this is a very confident energy. Okay. Um I don't know if this karmic is like feeding this person's ego when it's convenient king of spears the seven of coins yeah they're planting different seeds in this person's head but i, I feel like your person realizes it they see it okay there also could be like drugs or potions or something like that and yes i said potions some of you, the karmic could be into something that is having them some sort of spiritual hold on your person. Um, but there could be a substance issue there. Um, where do we see this going between the karmic and the person on Virgo's mind? Where is this headed to? Okay, we have the two of cups, so... At least for a little while, there may be a relationship. The Two of Cups energy, Page of Spears. It's kind of a immature type re relationship, but it is what it is. Then we have the Nine of Swords, where there's a bunch of stress here. Anxiety, okay? Why is this anxiety here? What is the Nine of Swords? Why is it here? We have the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. Somebody becomes an option here in that in that particular situation. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, a tower. I feel like it blows up in your person's face, especially if they chose this person over you. Okay? Especially if they show this chose this person over you. We have the eight of pentacles. Or probably the eight of pentacles. We have the will of fortune and the six of swords. I feel like this person because because your person chose this person i feel like they're gonna try to make it work but somebody walks away they don't have a choice i feel like this is gonna become crap 
Okay, the justice energy. There could even be a divorce with the situation. And the five of wands. Somebody could end up in jail. Okay, I see restraining orders with the seven of wands. So it turns into something really, really messy here. This turns into something really, really messy. Tell me more, tell me more. Yeah, robbery. Your person, something was taken from them. Like they could be using this person for money. There could be stealing going on. They could feel like they got a raw deal here. Okay, what? Can I just have one, please? One at, one at a time. One at a time. We've got illness coming out. Now, I don't know if that's mental or otherwise. Let's see, origin is here. What does that say? Imagination. Yeah, so I feel like your person, they... they they, they invested in something that may not be growing for them and loneliness is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, yikes. How is this person feeling toward Virgo? How is this person that went to the third party? How are they feeling toward Virgo? This could have already happened for some of you. How is this person feeling toward Virgo? Four of Pentacles. They haven't released you either. Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. So this person, I feel like the reason why they're in this Knight of Swords energy is because they're, they're thinking about what they did. And it puts them into a state of panic. Okay? I also feel like this person doesn't want you to move on. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Queen of Cups. So this person, th that loving, nurturing, intuitive energy that you brought to the table, they're not finding that wherever it is that they went to. They're not finding that, okay? Eight of Wands, they may re reach out and communicate with you soon. Yeah, and the Four of Wands, yeah, I feel like this person wants to take action. They may even show up at your house. Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're not telling you everything. If you do talk to this person, Virgo, they're not telling you everything that's going on with this third party. They're keeping some of that a secret. Where is that deck at? I feel like I want to get some more out of there. I'm not going to clarify it, but I just want to... I just want to get some more energy from that. Oh, here it is underneath here. Let's see. Anything else about this? I'm abusive and toxic. Wow. Oof. That is, the picture is just kind of it's kind of bloody. So I don't want to. So I don't want to show no violence here. Um. What does it say? It says, I want you to give up on your twin flame. Yeah, this person is trying to... I, I feel like this. For a lot of you, this karmic don't, does not actually want your person. They just don't want you to have them. The sense of competition is with you. Scarcity. I threaten him when he tries to leave me. Yeah, that may be why the law is involved now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well... That was interesting. Um, yeah, this person does want to take action towards you. They may have treated you very coldly, too. You may have tried to give this person a lot of warmth, even understanding. And this person, I feel like, was very cold towards you. But they don't want to let you go. Because you might be moving on with your life here, Virgo. But anyway, y'all told me to check in to see what's going on with the karmic, and that's what I did. So there you go. There you have it. I'm going to leave it here. Um, remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live, when I post new content. If you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me at the email in the description. And don't forget that I also post on the regular channel, Bright Light Tarot. Um, every day you guys get a reading over there as well. So make sure you check it out over there. Thank you guys for making this channel successful. I really, really appreciate it. I love you, Virgo. Light and love to each and every one of you. Until next time. Bye-bye.